Are you struggling with golden items in D4? Well, you can always throw your wallet against the wall. Use my code for a discount. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. So I have decided to make a separate video on the willpower, crit strike damage and vulnerable tempers that we get from other classes and concerning willpower, why are we getting it? Because these are the most common questions under the build guide now i kind of mentioned it in the build guide already but i can totally understand that in half an hour video such information can easily be lost in translation so let's get right into it now the easiest one is druid so let's start with that you just create a druid and skip the campaign that will put you in kiova shot and then yeah all you really need to do is to pick up the item from your stash and go re-rolling. So whatever it is you need, ah, oh, I already have a, I already have a weapon here. You just take, go to the occultist, and you can start enchanting. Uh, finally, like in previous seasons, you actually needed to um, do some quests or open. Um, open world tiers etc it is no longer needed so just level one character you are done with this in 20 seconds right and the reason we are rolling willpower on our pants on the druid is that i really really want to read the sixth note in the paragon board now we don't have to okay like i'm not telling you you have to go for it but getting free getting free dr in a season where getting dr is so hard because it's almost or pretty much on no items unless it's a unique item so yeah free dr equals good dr so that's why i do it of course you can also get willpower through gems uh if you put them in your armor but then you would be losing the hp that the rubies give us so we definitely definitely don't want to do that but yeah, if you want to roll anything else, if you want to roll anything else, if you want to roll strength, which would be the best as it increases our damage, uh, then yeah, go for it. Sure, just roll strength. Uh, that's definitely a good option as uh, well. Now, for the rogue, it's a bit more complicated than uh, the druid. Obviously, you need uh, the rogue. Rogue is a lot of fun. Like those of you who know me, you know that I used to be a rogue main uh, during AOZ. Uh, I rerolled Barbarian because, well, Blizzard didn't give me my bleed rogue. And also because Barbarian was a little OP back then. Uh, but still, I was playing a ranged rogue. Penshot Rapid Fire, you can see my previous videos. I was actually pretty high in the AOZ leaderboards uh, for a very long time. I was in the top 10 world. And for a while, I was even further in the AOZ than Vudijo. So, yeah, Rogue is a lot of fun. Maybe make the character actually to your liking, because you might use it later if you decide to do an alt. Rogue is definitely something I recommend. Now, what you need to do on your Rogue is get to World T4, which is pretty easy. You have one capstone in Kiova Shad, and the other is like in a cave somewhere around here. Uh, you just take some of your friends, clan members, or someone random that you, you know, found in local chat to take you through it. You just AFK there at the beginning. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to walk to the end, go through the portals, nothing. You just stand there AFK. And voila, in three minutes, you are world tier four. Now, you have to find Helltide. I mean, it's pretty easy to find, right? It's, it's a goddamn huge red part of the map. <laughs> um, you get there. I think the event is around here. And you look for the Blood Maiden event. Now, Blood Maiden event, I mean, most of you are probably already using to farm gear. That's actually like running hell tides is the best thing you can do to get gear. Uh, it's better than nightmare dungeons, which probably no one even plays anymore. As um, yeah, they offer nothing. Um, and yeah, I, I, oh, I actually hit the right spot. And yeah, um, it's better than the pit as well for items. You get a lot of items. 
Uh, if you also use the profane profane something <laughs> not entirely sure how it's called um that increases the level of the enemies in the hell tide then this is like the higher chance for triple ga double ga items etc but for the tempering you just come here you can't really help them because you got no life no items no level no nothing so you just stand here afk you can even die it doesn't matter you don't have to be alive um for the items to drop and yeah you wait for the boss to die because this is the boss that dropped the tempers it took me around 20 minutes to get them plus of course you get some angel breath veiled crystals etc so it's not a bad thing at all now if you want to increase your chances to get it then be the one who clicks on this like altar or whatever it's uh whatever it's supposed to be right because that uh that increases the amount of items that you get if you're the if you're the one doing the summoning right so make sure you actually you actually get this let me get this i'm poor i need to sell it to a vendor <laughs> now after you get it you obviously go back to the city hopefully i'll make it before they kill me a lovely and you can start tempering now we can actually try one of Rob tactics, whether it works or not. I saw it in one of his videos. I think it's not gonna work. It pretty much like it's an RNG game, right? These uh, things simply don't um, don't work usually. But why not? Let's just like get these gloves. For example, let's say these are two trash gloves. And these are our main gloves, right? So what the Rob says is that once you get the tempers from the Blood Maiden and start tempering, you should take your shit items, use Marksman Finesse if you want crit strike damage or Cutthroat Finesse if you want vulnerable, and you click temper. Crit strike damage. <laughs> okay, a good start. <laughs> like this is preferably what should happen, right? But let's say I didn't get crit strike damage, I got some random shit. So... And I got crit strike damage again. So that already kind of proves that, uh, yeah, this is just like so RNG. Um, and crit strike damage again. What the hell is happening? <sighs> ah, this never happens with my actual items. Oh my god. But yeah, his idea was to get shit tempers first, like four times, then use your actual item and try it uh, again. Uh, I think we cannot debunk that theory right now. Because, yeah, this game is super RNG. And because it's RNG, let me just tell you, that's why I hate tempers. I mean, it's kind of like love and hate kind of relationship. It's really cool to be able to optimize further, you know, and it kind of keeps you playing for longer, right? Because, yeah, it's not just the items, it's not just the stats that you can buy from other people, for example. Now you also have to be lucky. And if you're not, then you have you know reason to go and farm items again but i think it's just too much it's just too much like i had triple ga item okay triple ga item and i bricked it in five seconds after getting it you know and that just doesn't feel good so i think with every uh like greater ethics they should let you that's like my idea right they should let you choose what you don't want so let's say i have one ga and i can take what take one of these affixes away okay two ga two affixes away three ga three affixes away so that there's only the one that i actually need and the only thing that will be rng will be whether it's like a low roll or a high roll i think that's like the best thing that's the best thing they could do another thing would be increasing the attempts but it would it could still mean that you just get 10 times the same thing um or they could make it not repeat itself but then you know that like if you get shadow step damage the other one has to be something else um but i think that would still make it pretty hard pretty hard to get what you want and it would like if you were aiming for super high roll or let's say um let's say two passives over one 
this would actually work against you. So I think the best idea is to let us take one of the affixes from tempers away for each greater affix GA on the item. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And I hope this video helped you clear up the things um, that you asked for, well, mostly under, under my videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao.